Hallelujah. Quickly, I want us to understand that there is a realm that God expects us to operate from. There is a realm God expects us to function from. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6 speaking. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. Thank you precious Jesus. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6 said. My people. God some people. Are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. <laughs> and I went further speaking and said. Because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee. That is, God expects us to have a kind of knowledge as his children. There is a kind of knowledge God expects every of his children to possess. There is a kind of knowledge that God expects every of his loved ones, those that he has bought with his price, to possess. And that kind of knowledge is called what we call superior knowledge. It's not just information. It's revelation. God does not expect his children to function by information. He expects us to function by revelation. Listen to this. Revelation is superior to information. Information has to do with news. Awareness. The things they say to you. You are informed. On a daily basis you are being informed by your phone. By the news. By the newsletters. By the government. Hello? But the, the operations of God for his children is that you should operate beyond that dimension. When you operate based on that dimension, you are not different from a normal man on the street. And because you are not different from a normal man on the street, you have a normal man's resolve. You live your life like a normal man. You talk like a normal man. You see from a normal man's perspectives. But the truth there is that God expects us, his children, to operate from a dimension of revelation. Now quickly, what is revelation? Revelation is God revealing something to you. That is God on a consistent and on a daily basis. He expects his children to operate based on what he reveals to them. I am the comfort and am I. You see, it is what God reveals to you that reveals you to your word, not what the news is saying. When you operate based on what the news is saying, as I said before, you will live a normal life. Don't forget the Bible said, we are in this world, but we are not aware of this world. We are from above. Scripture now said, Whatsoever is from above is above all. Somebody say all. Is above all. Now, if you are from above, you should operate from the frequency of above. And hearing from above is what we call revelation. Now hear this. God expects you to hear from me on a daily basis. He said the steadfast of love never cease. His mercies are new every morning. Now listen to this. The mercy of God can't come until you hear from him. It is the voice of God that gives birth to the mercies of God. Hello? That is, is an error for a child of God not to observe a devotion time. Devotions in the morning are not times of religious observations. There are times where you draw from the heart of the master. There are times where he reveals his mind to you. That is here this, there can never be experience of the kingdom here until you hear from him. It is hearing from God that gave 
respect to the experience of the nature of God. And that is why this morning we'll quickly we're going to be looking at what we call walking in the reality of your dominion state here on earth. Walking on your dominion state or in the reality of your dominion state on here, on health here. What is dominion? Dominion talks about functioning with an unusual authority. You are the one that determines what happens. Not the news. Not the government. The church is the one that determines what happens. I said it on Sunday. After God created man, the first thing God created to give to man was dominion. He said, have dominion, subdue, have authority. I am the Authority was conferred on you by God. Authority. That is, here it is, as a child of God, Jesus came to restore to you your dominion mandate. But that dominion mandate will become a mere knowledge without working and experiencing it. And how do you experience and work in it? It's by what I've captured divine revealment, which is revelation. God revealing who you are to you. Until you know who you are, dominion is a mere conversion. That is why he said, He said, They that know their God, they shall be strong. And they shall do exploit. Fire. Kubasu Jenamaika. They that know. Now listen to this. This knowing is talking about is not talking about sensory knowledge. It's talking about revelation. Revelation. God revealing who you are to you, sir. As a Christian, you are not a normal man on the street. You are not a day-to-day -day man. You are a superman. You are a supernatural being. Zaga plaket taka siki balahanda kasuyana tola. He said, "Whatsoever is born of God, you, as a Christian, you are born of God. You are born of God." Now listen to this. Until God reveal your new state to you, dominion is not available. It is the revelation of God. To you about you about who he is about who you are now that bets dominion a lion that does not know that is a lion will die like a goat zaga pop lakleti zaga baba mekleti zaga mola platu zizi yemanai a lion is the king of all animals but when he doesn't know his state, his nature, he will be afraid of little animals. Now, if I am going to function in dominion, there are things I must know. One, I must discover who I am in God. Self-discovery. See, the subject of self-discovery is so important that God pays special attention to it. In Psalms chapter 82, he was speaking. He said, you are gods. And all of you are children of the Most High. He said, but because you don't know, you will die like ordinary men. He was calling you God. He said, because you don't know, you will be subject to the worldly element. You'll be subject to coronavirus. You'll be subject to diseases. Because you don't know that you are God. That is, in working with dominion, self-discovery is number one. Who am I? What have I been loaded with? Why am I here? Those are the things you need to know. First of all, who am I? Who am I? You see, listen to this. The subject of self-discovery is the number one ladder to manifesting dominion here. 
discovering yourself. You are not human. You are a spirit. In a human body. You see, you see if that was what differentiated the men of old and the men of this generation. Joshua could stand and say, the sun be stand still. And sun never moved until they conquered. They knew that they were not ordinary men. In the Old Testament, not in the better covenant. Elijah could call fire from heaven. And consume false prophet. Why? Because he knew he wasn't a normal man. He was a man. A spirit in human body. Moses could stretch for the Lord and part the Red Sea because there was this consciousness in them. He said, He that is in you is greater than he that is in the world. You are a loaded entity here. Self discovery. You that the very power that created the whole world lives inside of you. He said, Don't you know that your body. Is the temple of the living God. Zakuplati Zagalai. Zizi. Aprotanagisusiane Maloklati Zanaklo. Your body. It dwells in you. It stays in you. It moves through you. Self discovery. Self discovery. Self discovery. You are not the sick trying to be well. He has made you whole 2000 years ago. Self discovery. You are not the poor trying to be rich. You already made rich by his poverty. He said, he himself became poor that you might be what? Rich. You are not the poor trying to be rich. You are already rich. Self-discovery. See, every time destiny is to be beckoned on you, there's one major question you answer. Who are you? <laughs> Watching online, wherever you are, ask your neighbor, who are you? Who are you? John chapter 1, quickly, from verse 19 to 24. John 1, 19, 24. John 1, 19 to 24. Let's read together. One to go. And this is the record of John. Of who? Of John. When the truth sent priest. And Levite from Jerusalem to ask him, what was the question? Who are thou? Ask your neighbor online, wherever you are, who are you? See, see, that is the first question destiny will ask you. Satan will ask you that. Even God will ask you that. Do you know who you are? Who are thou? They said to ask John. Before Jesus manifested, Satan asked him, he said, if thou be this, the son of God, that is the question of identity. That was the challenge of identity. Know who you are in God. Verse 20, quickly. So cried Gamaha. And he confessed and denied not, but confessed, I am not the Christ. That is, he understood who he was. He understood this place. He wasn't trying to take the place of another. The reason why a lot of people fail in life, they are trying to become somebody else. And when you try to become somebody else, that's when failure starts on its own. Failure starts when you leave your originality to try to be somebody else. Do you understand what I'm saying here? He said, deny it not, and he confessed, I am not the Christ. The world Christ means the anointed one. I am not the anointed one. Verse 22. <laughs> then he said, Then said they unto him, Who art thou? They asked him again. This is the second time they were asking, Who are you? That we may give an answer to them that sent us. Destiny is waiting for your answer of who you are. That we may give an answer to them that sent us. Young lady, hear me. Destiny is waiting for you to discover yourself. Who are you? Dominion starts from self-discovery. What, what says thou of yourself? 
see it again what you, you now what do you say about yourself verse 23 <laughs> he said i am the voice of one crying in the wilderness now that means that john understood who he was what he came to do that is my assignment is that i am here to cry he knew his assignment that is to cry Two, he knew the location where he used to cry. <laughs> I am the voice of one crying. That is his assignment is to what? To cry. Where is to cry? In the wilderness. And now, what is to cry? Make straight the way of the Lord. As said the prophet as I asked. <laughs> Self-discovery. Who are you? Verse 24, the last place here. Yeah. And they which we are sent were of the Pharisees. Somebody shall self discovery. Shout it louder here. Self discovery. Self discovery. <laughs> Listen to this. The question of identity is the key to dominion. Write that down. The question of identity is the key to dominion. The greatest thing you can do for yourself is to declare your identity. Every man that ever become great in life discovered their identity and never kept calm. They start, they kept declaring, this is who I am. This is who I am. I'm not to end in data state. I'm the global figure. Start by declaring it in your closets. Declare it when you are better. Declare it in your room. Declare it to your wife. Declare it to your siblings. Declare it to your friend. I'm a world shaker. I'm a world shaker. I wrote something here. It's going to help something. Jesus' declaration. Jesus declared his identity over 10 places in the book of John. If you read the book of John properly, from the first chapter to the end, you will discover that there were 10 different places where Jesus dis declared his identity. This is who I am. I am the light of the world. I have come to do this. This is my agenda. This is my agenda. You want to have, you want to manifest dominion. After this lockdown, within these short days remaining, take time to discover who you are take time you are not a normal girl on the street no you are different there's a life in you there is a package in you discover it i make a decree upon 21 percent hear me online by the anointing of the holy ghost receive grace to discover yourself i thought you would say better amen here Listen to that. I wrote something here. People will not persecute you for looking good, but for declaring who you are. <laughs> People will not persecute you, sir, for looking nice. They will even compliment you that you are looking good. But when you start declaring who you are, they will say you are proud. They will start persecution. That what are you trying to... See, people are afraid of other people's success. People are afraid. People will not persecute you for looking nice. They will only persecute you for declaring who you are. You are not the same with her. You are different. That is why your thumbprint is different. Your biometric pressure is different. Your high resonance is different. A lot of things about you is just unique about you. But discover yourself in God. Who are you? <laughs> Listen to that. I wrote something here. The most dangerous man to Satan is a man who has discovered himself. <laughs> the most dangerous man to Satan is a man, is a young woman that have discovered himself. <laughs> you are not trying to be somebody else, sir. Huh? You have discovered who you are. You are the most dangerous man here. The most dangerous man is not a man that has money. He's a man that has discovered himself. 
You know in this lockdown, you know how many people that have millions in their account, but they are frustrated. Why are you? You are jointed with Christ. You should be glorified with him. You are not a normal being. Do you think you are normal? When somebody says you are not normal, it's not an insult. He's trying to tell you that you are not acting like a normal person in this world. You are super normal. You are a superior. See, do you know Jesus Christ's ways was far different from the normal way? He wanted to heal a man. He spat on the ground. Carry clay. A man was blind. You are putting his clay in his eyes. Is that a normal procedure? You are expected to pray for him. It's not normal to feed 5,000 men, excluding women and children, with five bread. You are not normal. That is, you should operate like your head brother Jesus. See, when you operate like that, you have become a son. You have become a son. One, who are you? You are a joint heir with Christ. <laughs> See, listen to this. There are three levels of the redeemed. How many levels? How many? Three. We have the babes when you give your life to Christ. Peter was speaking. He said, as newborn babes, desire the sincere milk of the world that you may grow thereby. There are three levels. You have the babe. <laughs> you see, when people are calling their girlfriend baby, you actually are calling your girlfriend small picking baby. Mm -hmm. Babe doesn't have brain. They, anything. Whoa, whoa. There are three levels. You have babe. We have children. We have sons. Hello? Babe does not manifest. Babe are always guided. I will show you. We have children. We have sons. In this kingdom, those that manifest are sons. Children is, is an error against scriptural injunction for children to manifest. He said the endless expectations of creations waited for what? The manifestations of sons, not children. Of sons. Of sons. In this kingdom is an error for a babe to manifest. That is, there are Christians that have... See, being a babe has nothing to do with when you got born again. It has all to do with your spiritual sense. Spiritual what? Spiritual sense and growth. Galosh, Calibra. Are you getting blessed online here? That is, in this kingdom, we have three stages. You have the babe, you have the children, and you have the sons. <laughs> I will show you. Galatians chapter 4 verse 7. Let's quick read it now. Valencian chapter 4, verse 7. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. Credos, Kiba, Hama, Mam, Rokimo. Now, let's read verse 7. Wherefore, thou art no more a servant, but a son. And if a son, then an heir of God through Christ. You see, see, listen to this. Unto us. A child is born. Unto us, a son is what? Given. Is given by spiritual responsibility. When you are a church, you are not taking any responsibility. You just do. You are a babe. God never said that you hear Jesus when he was a babe. When he was born by the mother, when Aaron wanted to kill him, they have to hide him. They hid him. They took him to run. Why? Because he was still a babe. But when he got to a point where he became a son, even God spoke from heaven. He said, this is my beloved son. Hear, hear him. The world will not hear you until you become a son. Until you become a son. The world will not hear you until you become a son. Nobody will listen to you until you become a son. Even God said, this is my son. Now in sonship, we also have level. We have sons and we have beloved sons. God spoke from heaven, this is my beloved son. If he said this is my beloved son, that is their sons. Elijah was a son. But Jesus was a beloved son. He said, this is my beloved son. Hear ye him. After this lockdown, your word will hear you. As after this lockdown, your word will listen to you. I say your word will listen to you. You are bigger than this world. Far bigger. Far bigger than what the government. See, I go scared that. You want to hear something big? Eh? Eh? Once you are saved, 
bought by his blood, you are bigger than the world. Not bigger than Nigeria. You want to know that? He said, what shall he profit a man if he loses his own soul and gain the whole world? You are, see, that is your soul is more profitable than the whole world. That means that you are higher, you are on the world. We are world overcomers. That is who God has made of us. That's who Jesus has made of us. It's not by our works. It's not by our deeds. It's by what Jesus has done and faith in what he did. <laughs> Somebody say, I'm a citizen of heaven. Say it louder. Three, who are you? You're an ambassador of Jesus Christ here. You're an ambassador. You are an ambassador. I want to show you something in this. It will blow your mind. You have not heard it anywhere. Listen to this. It will blow your mind. Who is an ambassador? Quickly. Ambassadors are representative of their countries or kingdom. Look at me. Look at me. You are an ambassador. You are representing the kingdom that you belong. And when an ambassador is to speak in a country, he doesn't speak by saying, and my president said I should say this. No. He speaks as if he's the president. That is, you are to speak in the place of God. That was why Elijah we said, Before God in whom I stand, there shall not be rain. And there won't be rain. Why? Because he have caught his identity. That was why I started by discovering your identity. You are is an ambassador here. You speak in the place of God. You speak for God. You speak for Jesus. Daniel was speaking for the kingdom. The king made a decree. He said, nobody should pray in this name. These things has been before. And Daniel said, never. Not in my time. And he opened the roof and started praying. And all the kings, they captured them. And when they captured them, is by that singular obedience, converted the whole nation to God. Until you can stand for God, and represent as an ambassador. There are some dimension of result you might not have. And your dominion will be limited. Receive grace to be a correct ambassador. Yeah. Ambassadors are represented. They are not against their fault. That is why as an ambassador, the way you talk difference. You don't talk like every other person. There's a way you talk. There's a way you dress. There's a way you carry yourself. People might be saying coronavirus is everywhere. You say, not in our country. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> they say, you know, in Nigeria, I'm not in Nigeria. Not in my country. Where are you from? I am from Zion. Where do you work? In Tana Oil. Am I talking to someone here? You are from somewhere. You are from somewhere. You are from somewhere. Zaku Pak Olamande Kuskoshanai. In the name of Jesus Christ. Have you been blessed? Rise up on your feet. Lift up your two hands as we pray in the Holy Ghost. We are coming out of this lockdown stronger and better. Lift up your two hands. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Shiligebara. Shilly Gibbara.